Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's 8.05 in the morning and we're already turning dirt. We got the speed disc on and uh, we're finishing up Shane's place. And then we're gonna get back on the planer. We've been playing corn and things like that. So uh, that's been pretty good. And uh, we got corn sprouted right now. So that's even better. Um, we're at Shane's place. This farm's 550 acres-ish, roughly. Um, these passes that we're in right now, so like if we went one pass, two pass over, uh, they are three minutes and five seconds long per pass. So it's taking me like six minutes to go up and down. Well, six minutes, ten seconds to go up and down once. But uh, we still got the planer boxes in here in the 9460, and I'll explain all this stuff today to you guys, which there's a lot there. But uh, we're going to be planting corn later on today once I get done at Shane's place because all the other dirt up around the Walker area, so the northern dirt from the farm, is already all, all done. We went south to start, and uh, now we're working our way north because the south farms are closer than the northern farms to the house. And then once we get done working dirt and planting all the corn, which we have 500 acres of corn in the ground right now, so we got another thousand acres to do but Shane's place and the Rogers farm will take up a really good chunk of that uh, we will go and get the DB 60 the bean planter and then we're gonna get it ready make sure that it works and then we'll, we're gonna be planting soybeans so that's another good thing so we're just in the planting spirit getting all of our ground done um, we farm about 4,500 acres roughly, so hopefully here in the next couple years, I can take them numbers and hopefully our farm will be 8,000 acres or something like that down the road. But uh, this is a 2630 John Deere monitor. We use this for uh, guidance. And then to set your AV line, I don't want to set one, but you go in the set track. And then right there where it says set A. So all the way up there where we first started, you set A and then all the way down here you set B and then you accept it and everything and then that button right there will say off and you turn it on and I will be right back because we got to turn around alrighty we are back and then once all that's done uh, all right auto steer buttons right here this is the button that we press so the tractor will drive itself so we can have perfectly straight lines in this farm or field so that's another good thing because we want straight lines because the crops gotta go straight which like this farm and the rogers farm and some other farms that we've been on haven't had saved ab lines in it for planting they've had soybean line soybean lines wheat lines and milo lines but i don't know why dad never put corn lines in so every farm that i've been planting i've been saving corn lines in it so next year whenever we're planting corn i can already have them lines in there but I will be back once we uh, get this farm done. Alrighty, so we just finished Shane's place. Shane's place is now officially done. We got one skip up by the yellow barn up here that uh, I was having trouble with the rolling baskets on the speed disc, so they weren't working. So we're just gonna run up there on that one skip and then we're folding up. We're heading to Nana Papa's place. We're getting some diesel there, and then we're going and getting the DB90, and then we're going to start playing corn. Yes, we're going to start playing corn. So I'm excited to start playing corn, and uh, I'm even more happy to unhook this speed disc and uh, quit pulling it because I don't really like working ground if there's corn to be planted because I'd rather have corn in the ground. Uh, we're going to the Rogers farm to plant corn and then we go to Shane's place here after Rogers and then we're going to the farm along 71 is what I call it. It's along 71, the Interstate 71 Highway. So we'll go to that farm too, but here's the skip that they must have been talking about right here. It's a, it's not a very big skip. It's a little skip. So we'll get this skip done and then uh, whenever I make it to Nana Papa's, we'll be back. So I figured before we unhook the speed disc, we might as well work up Grandpa's garden so he can plant the sweet corn. Just one of them things. Yeah, we'll use a 9460 and a, a speed disc to work up a garden. About three passes and it's done. But, oh yeah, get yeah, it. Letting the old 9460 just eat the speed disc alive. 
Alrighty, so we got the DB90 on the back of the 9460 now. Uh, I've planted uh, half of this field, that little field over there, or halfway around the edge of that field over there. But we are pulling the DB90 at five and a half mile an hour, wide open. That's about as fast as we can go. And then this up here, this is my planter screen that tells me everything. It beeps, makes a lot of noise. But our seed population's right there. It's at 30,000 is what we're set to. And it looks like we're planting 29,800 seeds per acre. So yeah, that's a lot of seeds. Um, we got the planter box here. This would be row shut off. So this shuts off the left side. Then you get your center and then your right. And this right here is how you fold everything up, fold the planter up. Uh, and then if it, if it had markers, and do the markers too. Then we got the CB in the tractor. So I can talk to Eric whenever we're closing up. But yeah, here's the DB90 in all of her glory. It's 36 row, 30 inch planer. It is absolutely massive. Like this planer is huge. Um, some, some spots, oh, gotta turn around. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So some spots with this DB90 is really hard to get into. So, uh, it's one of the planers that's kind of awkward. I want to go to a DB80. Uh, Jacob wants a DB60, even though I'm the only one that's ever probably going to plant. So I think I need a planter. So I want a DB80 next, which would give, get rid of the last wing, which should be, I think, 30 rows it's, instead of 24. So it'd be a 30 row planter. Um, or maybe a DB66, which would be a little bit bigger planer. I don't know the row spacing on them. Uh, we have a DB60, and it's 47 rows, but it's also a bean planter. So it's called a, a split row or a twin row, uh, depending on where you are at in the world. Um, everyone has different names for planters and things like that. But uh, this right here... This is how we air up the airbags for our downforce on the tractor, which looks like I need some air because I'm at 20. So we'll air it up a little ways. It goes pretty quick on the air, airing up. So, uh, oh, might take two hands since I'm plugged. Yep. All right, took two hands. So we need to shut the left side off, then it'll start beeping. And then about right here, we shut the center off of the planter, so the left side and the center of the planter is not planting, and now just the right side is the only one planting. And now we lift it up right here. We go over here, we flip them all back on. Throw the tractor in neutral. Try to turn this thing around. Put it in reverse. And back it up. Yeah, there's my outside right over there. The reason why we have it on this big foil drive is it just makes it easier to turn around and everything, which sometimes this thing can be a pain to turn around. Okay, and then we put it in forwards. This is going to be like a five point turn probably, just to get back on my, uh, looks like my last row. And then we move over to a little, little patch and then yeah, a couple other little fields. And then we turn again click the auto steer button and we need to turn the left side off since it's going to be overlapping set the planter down and just like that we're back to plate corn again so it took us two minutes to turn around this thing it just beeps at me it don't like me so you just press ok and then we turn the left side back on and now all 36 rows on the planter are planting so not that hard to operate but the hard part about this planter is getting it down the road because when this thing's folded up it's 90 foot long plus the tractor however long the tractor is so if you guys can think that takes up quite a bit of space scale and it's it gets pretty difficult sometimes to turn around but once we're at Shane's place we we have the big nice long two minute passes so but with this thing I'm just gonna sit back riding this Cadillac and go that's what we're gonna do but uh that's uh let's get some more planted whenever it's time to get some seed I will be back all righty so we ran out of seed and uh now we gotta fill the planter up with seed it's kind of noisy but Jacob's outside in the sprayer gotta get the remote gotta 
I get the remote. Spraying 32 on the ground for our, uh, our corn. It's dark. And the rain is on its way, so hopefully it rains because this ground needs the rain. Like, there's moisture, but it still needs the rain. So, let's get back to planting before it uh, starts raining because we need the crops in the ground before this rain comes. And we still got a lot of acres to cover. Ooh, Ryan 460 was put herself in the gear to take all that, no good. So, let's get back to planting. Well, so we just uh, finished the Rogers farm. We got, well, we have one pass left with the pivot. So I'm gonna show up nice and early in the morning. Turn the pivot on, run down gas station, get something to eat, drink, things like that, and then, uh, Come back, finish that one pass, and then we're going back to Shane's place tomorrow, which that's going to be real nice running. Uh, but we have 800, I, I want to say it's like 891 acres of corn in the ground as of right now. So that's a pretty good number. I'm taking the Duramax and the seed tender back tonight. Uh, this thing's headlights suck. And there's just nowhere to really turn around, so we'll just we'll just go a long way around. But uh yep, that is a wrap for today's video. Uh make sure to like and subscribe and I'm gonna head home because I've been working for a while. That DB90 on that oh that looks so good. The DB90 in the planner.